hey, so um, this isn't going to be fancy. I'm, I'm, I'm not set up to do something really cool with video, but uh, I'll try to share with you uh, these little tricks that I have for editing out noises that happen in between words, okay? And um, these uh, really save me a lot of time, and, and maybe they'll be helpful to you too. And uh, maybe if you've got uh, more experience or some better way to do it, I'm all ears. So I just feel like I'm a student on the path here, sharing something I've observed and learned, and, and perhaps it will help you as well. Okay, so here is our signal. Okay, so here's our vocal track. And let's say you're coming along here and you run into some issue right here. And, and you can see right here that there's a little bit of uh, weird something going on right there. So, you know, depending on if you're using a, um, a downward expander, that may or may not be a problem. Okay, but let, let's suppose that you find that it is a problem. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do it, okay? And then I'm going to show you sort of behind the curtain what I did. And then I'll show it one more time so you can see that, all right? So hopefully that'll work out well for you. Okay, so imagine I've got my headphones on. Woo, we're playing along here. By Reed Galbraith. Narrated. Okay, and in my headphones, I'm like, oh dear, that's not cool. So I'll put my cursor in here. All right, and then what I want to do is I want to get a bigger look at it. Okay, so I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to expand that. Okay, so now I've got a better look at what's going on inside there. All right, and you can see how long that took. Boom, boom, boom. Like two seconds to get here. Now I'm looking at it. All right, so you can see there's a lot of little things in here like this. Now, I happen to have my uh, downward expander working in here. So these, these things actually won't come through the audio. All right. But let's suppose that they did or they were big enough that they did and the downward expander didn't help them. So if I see like several little things like this, okay, what I will do is <clears throat> highlight this whole thing. All right, and then you see this green line here, that's my volume. And I'm gonna hit Control Shift, and I'm gonna pull that segment down just like that. Okay, and now you can see all those things went away, okay? So I can make them smaller, I can make them bigger. I really, my goal is just to make them small enough that the downward expander catches them, they don't, don't go away. I don't wanna make them too small um, and risk the audio sounding suddenly like there's a like a gap or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> so let me undo that for you. Okay. Now, if it's just a, a single spike, let's say, um, I don't know, this guy right here looks pretty mat nasty. Let's see what that is. Okay. So I get in there and I'm like, oh dear, that's, that's ugly. I don't know what that is, but, but let's, I want to get rid of that. Let's say, okay. Um, in fact, actually, maybe I'll do one of these over here instead. Okay. So like over here. So maybe this guy is really problematic. Okay. The way I have mine set up, I click down in the bottom half and it splits. Okay. Then I move my cursor over and then I hold shift. I click again. It trims back. I grab the right side, pull it over, do a crossfade like that. And that sucker is gone. Okay, just like that. It is gone. Okay. <clears throat> and um, that works really, really well. The volume trick, pulling stuff down, <clears throat> I have found that that works pretty well most of the time. But the clicks can, man, you probably know, they can be stubborn, right? So, um, all right. So let me show you sort of behind the scenes. How did I set all this stuff up? So... I'm going to go back to how it was originally. Okay. Okay, so I was here. All right. And so what we want to do first, I want to show you about how to change your mouse settings. Okay. So if you got a wheel on your mouse and you hit Control Shift, all right, you can make this bigger or smaller. <clears throat> okay. I didn't make that change, so I... I assume it's 
sort of default <laughs> somehow in uh, in here. Um, okay. Um, now, then to zoom in, okay, or to zoom back out, okay, that was a change that I made. So let's take a look at the actions here. Okay, I'm going to do show action list. Okay, bring this down here for you. Okay, and what you want to do is look for peaks. Okay, just like that. Okay, and there's a couple of things of interest here. Decrease peaks display. Okay, so that's going to bring it down like this. Or increase peaks display. <clears throat> so what I did is I selected on here. Okay, and then I went to shortcut. So I did add. Okay, when you do that, it's waiting for you. You could put something in there. Okay, so uh, that's the decrease. So I did control. I held control and I did the mouse wheel. Okay, and that'll show up just like that. Okay, and um, so control uh, makes it smaller. Okay, the control is lower than the shift key. Then to uh, make it bigger, same thing. Click on that dude, hit add. Hit your shift and then do your mouse wheel and there it is and then you just have to hit OK. All right. Like so. OK. And so that is actually super quick. I mean what I was doing is like holding down the shift and then I'd have to let go uh, and go find the arrow and arrow up or, an arrow, or arrow down. That was the, it's the original control. OK. But I figured out how to get my mouse to do it sort of like that. OK. All right. Now while we're here at actions, okay, what we're going to do <clears throat> is to um, search for a couple other things, all right? So we want to search for split, okay? And then what I want is split item under mouse cursor, okay? Now I'm not going to do a thing with that right now, I just want you to see that it's there, okay? So split item under mouse cursor, okay? And so if you activate that, all right, um, then uh, yeah, wherever your curse, wherever your mouse is, it's gonna split that dude. Okay. Um, now let's look up one more here, trim. Okay, and we're interested in this guy right here, trim right edge of item to edit cursor. Okay, so what this is gonna do is um, wherever your cursor is, your item is gonna get like truncated to wherever that thing is. So it's going to scooch it back for you. So you don't have to click on the edge and then drag it over to the cursor. It just pop. Uh, it will be taken care of just like that. Okay. So a couple of those actions there. So now what we're going to do, <clears throat> let's go down to uh, options and all the way at the bottom, uh, near the bottom is preferences. Okay. So get your preferences. Okay. And of course, they got all these different things because it's Reaper. And um, you want to go to mouse modifiers like this. And then you want to go to um, up towards the top, media item bottom half. Okay. Just like that. And then I want to do left click. Okay. And so what this is going to do is this is going to set it up for me to be able to um, <clears throat> make it so that if I click in the bottom half of my media item of my audio, certain things can happen there. Okay. And so uh, the default action here, okay, uh, is that it'll split like this. I, honestly, I can't remember if I made it do that. I think it does that by itself. But if not, um, what you can do then is you can uh, double click on it like this and go down to action and there's a list of things but go to the action list okay and then we're going to go back to split okay remember we looked for that and then all we have to do here is split item under mouse cursor just select that boom and you're in business okay so I'm going to close that here. You can see I've already got it in there. Split item under mouse cursor. Okay. All right. Then if I hold the shift key, when I do a left click, when the mouse is on the bottom half, all right, that's when it's going to do that edge trim. And again, double click on that dude. 
Go to your action list. Now we're going to search for trim like this. Okay, and we want trim right edge to edit cursor. All right. And so now when I when I click, it's going to do that truncation for me. It's just going to smash that thing right up like that. Okay. Just like that. And then um then it's all sorted, it's all set up. Okay. So let me show you just one more time. Okay, so here's how it all looks together. All right, so I'm listening along. All right, and I'm like, oh, not cool. So I got a bugaboo in there. All right, and so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a little more working room. Oops, I went the wrong way with it. I'm going to expand this dude out. And then I'm like, oh, look at all that noise. Okay, so again, I could just highlight part of it. Hover here. Control Shift. Drop it out. Okay, not my favorite way to do things because then you get these weird breaks here and here that could cause a pop or something. All right, but if you got a lot of stuff and you're strategic with it, you, it, it can work out for you. Okay, if I want to just get one of these guys, now I'm going to click in the lower half right here. Okay, and you can see there's my split. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to move my mouse over just to scotch. Now I hit shift and I click on the bottom over here on this side. Okay. And there you can see it truncated it, popped it up layer like that. Then I'm going to hit click on the top half and drag this thing over and make sure you've got it set to crossfade and um, boom, that dude is gone. Okay. So uh, hopefully that's uh, something that will be helpful to you. Um, if you got a comment or a suggestion, you know, feel free to to uh, get back to me about that. OK, or leave a comment um, down below. All right. Happy editing. How do I stop?